Co-worker tried to claim my 15-page report as her own work to the CEO, got outed in front of him. This was a young woman who only got her job especially made for her because her dad was golfing buddies with our CEO. She regularly blamed her team for her numerous mistakes and took all the credit for their hard work. Let's call her bitch. I used to do trade shows and after the fall season would be back in the office and create a comprehensive report on the results of the shows, normally 15 pages. The Veeps always wanted paper reports, not attachments, so I normally printed them out and distributed them personally to the staff. I handed Bitch her copy as we passed in the corridor, then watched in sheer amazement as she marched straight into the CEO's office and said, I kid you not here boss, I just put this together for you. Stunning, the report was all about trade shows, and she wasn't even in the same department. Cue the revenge, I marched in there right after her, and said oh, bitch, I just realized that my report has some numerical errors, let me have it back and I'll get you a revised one, all the while staring at the CEO with a slightly raised eyebrow. As I left, I heard the most wonderful words from the CEO Iku, would you please close the door as you leave. Bitch came out about five minutes later looking like a ripe tomato. I couldn't resist asking how was your little tea to teat with our boss. My dad's co-worker tried to steal his programming code and take credit. At the meeting concerning the allegations, my dad asked why this guy's variables were named after people in our family. A.K.A. Find product. INT Dollarica 99. INT dollar Picard 1010 foot. I went to a meeting about some very detailed data I had gathered while working with a team. This involved months of some very involved measurements over long periods of time being correlated to specific testing parameters. Lo and behold all of my work was presented with we don't know who did this but this is great I stood up and said well I do, it was me and looked at the team lead who had not given me any credit for it. My revenge was years later when he got walked out after three decades of working for that company. She regularly blamed her team for her numerous mistakes and took all the credit for their hard work. Let's call her bitch. I don't even need to read the rest to know this shit is gonna be good. And that, kids, is how you professionally take down a credit-stealing co-worker. Bitch came out about five minutes later looking like a ripe tomato. Face with tears of joy, 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 face with tears of joy. And this is why you don't hire your golfing buddy's daughter. Nepotism is the enemy of efficiency. Alternatively, you could have asked her to summarize the report on the spot and watched her stammer. Then say, oh, this report? I need to correct some numbers. What did she say? Regaining control through such a simple and plausible way was pure genius. Well done. I sat in a cube next to a guy who was a lead in his group. I would hear him talking to the people who did the actual work in his group and then sit in meetings where he said, I did this and I did that when I knew he hadn't done the work. Funny thing is I never had to say anything about it because everyone knew he was a liar, but since no one ever told him to his face he thought he was clever. Also why, when someone asks for your PowerPoint, you send them a PDF of it, not the PowerPoint itself. I've been had a couple times where I took time to make nice slides for projects and then I see it in someone else's presentation. Ah. The rightful order has been restored. Wouldn't your report have your name all over it? The instant revenge was sweet but not as sweet as. Let's call her bitch. Well done. So, not just fully calling her out. I'm sorry, I just literally handed this to you. I've been working on this for 20 months I didn't just hear you say you wrote it, right? I don't eat like that you used her real name. S. I fantasize about moments like this. Fuck people that steal credit. Gif Giffy Co 39 SRN 2 EURVKVQ. Fafo. A good team manager takes all of the blame and none of the credit. How was your little tea to teat with our boss? I honestly had to look up the meaning of this phrase. 
apparently it's French and refers to a private one-on-one -on -one conversation. Let's call her bitch. Rolling on the floor laughing. Let's call her bitch. I snort choked. Let's call her bitch face with tears of joy face with tears of joy face with tears of joy. Gif gif ez dunqs for axel one a r d isle. Your CEO knew your Reddit username? That's bold. LOL now I want to hear what her response was LOL. School for the ungifted, yet entitled. I love this so much my husband is jealous now. I knew this was going to be good when you wrote, let's call her bitch. Smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. I found out a colleague had taken credit for a bunch of my work and got a huge bonus from it, along with being treated like a golden child from then on. When he left the company they held a goodbye dinner for him, I showed up for the free food. As I was leaving he stood in front of me and offered me his hand saying, I know we haven't always gotten along. I replied, that's okay, at least I'll get the credit for my work now. I checked his career on LinkedIn a few months back. In the last seven years the longest his lasted at a company has been ten months. Let's call her bitch. OP is the shield hero. What exactly does a ripe tomato look like? Moldy? I jerked off to this. Fuck yeah. I like how OP used bitch as a pseudonym to protect Aiku's anonymity but then outed her anyway. Some extra snark on the cake. Fast thinking. Hopefully they soon got rid of the waste of space. I don't believe this. Why would they even expect a report from her and not you? Let's call her bitch had me rolling. I was in my last year at engineering school when this PhD student came up and started copying down all the work we did on a homework assignment. When we confronted her, she just said she was double checking. She was pretty well known and had multiple write-ups done on her and the work she was doing. Come to find out, we actually did the whole assignment wrong and found out in time to correct it, but not quite enough time to tell her we messed up. Rolling on the floor laughing I really like your taste with names. Spot on clapping hand sign clapping hand sign clapping hand sign. This didn't happen lol.